So here we go then. It is time for the DRS 62 second heat. And you'll see there's uh, a lot of black numbers on your screen, meaning that there are a fair few rookies out there, novices on the track. We saw a dramatic first heat. Looking forward to see if Heat B can live up to those levels as well. 13 carts out on the course. As the uh, driver's just uh, doing a couple of laps of the circuit before the rolling starts. So the driver's being encouraged to slow down by the marshals. Keen to get up to speed, of course, aren't they? But just uh, aligning next to each other. Out in front at the moment, it is Jack Badger. And off we go, and off to the absolute quickest of starts was Craig Evans. Not messing about there and zooming straight off into second place. I'm wondering if that was a false start. Someone from the uh, crowd has just shouted that it was. So we'll line up again. Yep, it was a false start. I did think that did look ridiculously quick. Up from a fourth to second in the blink of an eye. So we'll go again. The driver's lined up. And getting ready. And off we go. We are underway in the second race heat here at Clay Pigeon. It is the D. RS62, and out in front at the moment, it is cart six, Archie Heron. So Archie Heron out in front then at the moment, ahead of Craig Evans. And a nice little three-way battle for first place. And here we go then, bombing down to the first corner. Heron out in front at the moment, but Evans looking to put pressure on. Drivers getting themselves up to speed, warmth in those tyres with just seven seconds remaining of this race. These are just eight minute races, these heats. So not a lot of time for the drivers to get past each other. But Evans has indeed done that, got past Heron earlier on on the track. But there is so little between Badger, Evans and Heron at the moment, a three-way tie for the lead. Evans out in front at the moment. Heron has a look around the outside, but I don't think it's gonna make it stick as they head into the first corner. Sweeping right-hounder. So Evans out in front of Heron. Badger in third place. We've got Horlor in fourth, a little bit further back. So Evans out in front, Heron second, Badger third. Heron not quite close enough this time to try and make a move. Evans defending well. Craig Evans then out in front at the moment in cart number seven. And 
And uh, it's turning into a four-way tie, this, because Horlaw is uh, getting close on the tail of Badger. Badger just uh, potentially has a sniff up the outside of Heron. Look how close those two are. The battle for second really getting interesting now. And you feel if Badger can get past Heron, perhaps carrying a little bit of extra pace, Heron under all sorts of pressure from Badger, who goes round the outside. They are wheel to wheel. And it is Badger who makes up the place and now focuses his attention on Evans, who leads the race, Heron down to third. And you just feel that Heron will be keen to try and get that place back. And Evans under pressure now from Badger, as we expected might be the case. Badger all over the back of Evans, surely isn't going to get the move done already. Craig Evans with pressure. Badger on the outside, and Badger moves up into first place. But has he left himself not enough room? And Heron now takes the race lead. My goodness me. So all we'll change here. And it is indeed a three-way battle as Badger once again takes the inside line and gets the move. But once coming back again is Heron. These three absolutely going wheel to wheel. Somehow Heron ends up at the front of the pack. Badger really chucking a spanner into the works after he got past Heron on the track. But Heron now somehow from third to first. But all over the back of Badger is Evans. He was leading the race a little bit earlier and has a chance to maybe get back second. Heron in first, Badger in second, Evans in third. Just over three and a half minutes left. And in the back of your shot, trying to make their way into this little battle is Horlaw, who is gradually coming into the fray of things. So, Badger out in front. In second place, it is Evans, but it's ever changing. Heron gets the move done again and moves back into second place. It is Badger out in front, and you just feel if Badger gets a bit of open air, could open up a bit of a lead. Jack Badger leads at the moment. And there's a little bit of a gap between the carts now. Badger in first. Heron in second, Evans in third, but Horlaw has made the way into this battle for first place. Two and a half minutes left of this race. The battle for first is really interesting. Back then with this battle for first. Heron leads the way. Badger somewhere on the line got overtaken again. Left to right. Badger with the quick steering I think might have got the job done and does. But Heron looking to get a move back. Excellent overtaking by all of these drivers. Giving each other enough room and respect. Horlaw just at the back. You wonder if maybe Horlaw's going to make a late dive into this battle. Three-way battle for the lead. Currently Badger out in front. Heron in second with Evans in third. But Evans all over the back of Heron. It is a three-way tie for the lead. Who is going to finish first, second, or third? We will find out in the next couple of minutes. Badger just looks to be controlling things a little bit better now. It is a good battle between Heron and Evans. And that might take the pressure off Badger a little bit, but it is still so close between these three as they approach another lap. We'll have probably enough time for another three more laps, I would imagine. Heron closing right in once again on Badger. Into the last minutes. Badger out in front. Evans and Heron 
putting the pressure on each other as well as on the leader, Badger. A quick glance over the shoulder that by Heron, worrying about the car behind, but getting close enough perhaps now to make a move. Will Badger defend? It's not quite close enough. Into the final 30 seconds. Excellent racing by all three of these cars. Well, we thought qualifying A was going to be the most exciting race, but this one has been just as exciting, if not more. And Badger is slow around the corner, slow around the hairpin, and it's given Heron a chance to close right in as we approach the final lap. This then will be the start of the final lap. It is Badger with the lead at the moment, but Heron goes out wide. Badger has a better racing line, but will that give him enough speed coming out of the corner? Heron's still all over the back of Badger, but don't discount Evans, who is right on the back of Heron. We're on the final lap. This is where it all counts. Badger defending hard. Can Heron get the move done? Evans all over the back of Heron as well. It is still Badger out in front. Heron is going from left to right, but Evans just gets in front of Heron, but Heron gets the place back for second place. These two wheel to wheel. Who's it going to be? It looks like it might be Evans who has a better racing line. They are absolutely wheel to wheel. It is anyone's guess as to who's going to cross the line in second place. My goodness me, it was close, but it is Heron who gets the job done. Evans will have to settle for third. Badger with first place. What an end to the race. Well, we thought qualifying A was intense. That was a very intense finish to the race. So these then, the results are on the back of Heat B. Jack Badger, an impressive victory ahead then of Archie Heron. Craig Evans coming home in third place with Max Haller, a controlled race in fourth. Jamie Scott in fifth. Lucius McDermott in sixth. Hudson Cross in seventh. Max Winfield in eighth. And we take a breather then ahead of the DRS 100cc Heat race.